Mm. These are pretty good rolls. Oh my! All right. Yeah. So nice. Uh, let's see. Nice Seth rolls. Really. Stealth. Uh, Cletus. Well, you're towards the front, right? So who who else in front? You guys never told me this. Who's in front? Are we going Cletus single and line? Cletus Alpha Team. All right. We're Bravo Team. We in the back. We're going. Double breasted, single file, a little bit more detail here. What are we doing, guys? Staggered. I would say, like, staggered. Yeah. You know. Cletus, you first. Uh, me just behind you to the sides. I think Vera, yeah. says, yeah. Vera says she ran to the very back. So Deal I'll be one arm bandit. And, All right. And, and Betty D. behind me. And okay. I'm behind Puck. And okay. Cletus is in the front. All right. So we have uh, Cletus, Puck, Dee Dee, Betty, Vera. Uh, and we'll say that uh, Sam is with between Betty and Vera, so v and then Vera is on the very, okay. very ass end of the caboose. So, all right. So you guys are, you know, like I said, caboose. you're kind of slinking your way around this machinery, dodging and ducking, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, Jason Kirkman, he drops his flashlight. All right, as he as he had a pretty pretty bad uh, stealth roll. Well, actually, let me uh, let me I do face one thing. Bomb. I silently uh, face. I think bomb. I'm going to start making character sheets for all of my all of my NPCs. I don't think it would be that that uh, that difficult. All right, so yeah, that's that's fine. Looks like. Uh, Oh, Deshaun. Nice, nice roll there, Deshaun. Yeah, Deshaun. Yeah. Deshaun, basically, you're, uh, as you're, you're walking, your pills fall out of your, basically, as you're kind of slinking oh, around, your, your pants are kind of, you know, <laughs> down, and, and, and out of your hoodie comes your, your, uh, your pills, and the, the, the bottle shatters, and they go all over the ground. Oh, fuck, man. And, and as this happens, uh, all of a sudden, a, a massive, uh, barrage of, of you know automatic machine gun fire goes off and sparks are going on all around you coming off of the machinery oh, and yeah. you know you can hear the the bullets zinging by you ping 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 and you know it just goes on for about another 15 seconds or so and then it right. stops hmm. I'm immediately going to hit the deck yeah, uh, well, I'm down, yeah. I followed my pills down yeah. to the ground. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to collect them as, as hastily as I can while bullets are yeah, so flying as, all around. Yeah, as, so as Kirkman, yeah, as Kirkman's around you, he's up up front with you, Cletus. Uh, Kirkman, basically, he, he drops down, gets down into a like a full on his, you know, he's on his stomach. Uh, and he gets down into that position, he, and he is returning fire uh, in the direction of where he thought that the, the shot, all of the automatic gunfire was coming from. And all of a sudden, Vita, at the very end, you, you feel an arm wrap around your neck uh, as you're down, uh, and you can feel that the muscles of this thing grabbing you uh, is as tense as steel cables. Uh, and despite the heavy sound of the ship's engines and machinery, uh, the unmistakable moan fills your ears as you turn around and see a zombie. Uh, uh, and you notice that it is Mr. Haynes with this cowboy hat on. Oh, and shit. So, fucker. Yeah. So you are... Patient zero. Yeah. So you're, you're oh, here... You, right. Yeah, you see Mr. Haynes, and then there are also two other zombies behind him about another about another 20 feet away. So, let's go ahead and, you know, as, as this is happening, I guess, Vera, would you scream, or, or what do you do? I'll give you a free action, so. Well, I was about to say, everyone, everyone's ears are pierced with a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> So all of you turn around and you see one of these things, which I indicated is is Mr. Haynes, and he actually still has his cowboy hat on for for some apparent reason, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> dried blood hasn't stuck on there. Yeah, exactly. So what you doing back there, Vera? Yeah, Mr. I Haynes told you is to say frosty woman. on the floor pulling at her, you know, and and you see the other couple zombies coming down the hall, and Kirkman yells, you know, a couple expletives. As he, you know, kind of turns from the firefight from the front, and looks like he's going to start trying to, uh, 
you know, start shooting these zombies from the back. So let's go ahead and let's do uh, another, our third combat of the night. Holy crap. Right on. Fast right, and Furious. Dave, for me, for me, this is uh, part of my hindrance. I am I have a phobia of being restrained, so I'm going to have a minus two to all my tricks. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Let's do some cards, shall we? Mm -hmm. Betty, nine of hearts. Cletus, jack of clubs. Dee Dee. King of Clubs, Puck, That's right. Nine of Spades, Vera, oh my God, Three of Clubs, Kirkman, <laughs> King of Diamonds, Zombie, Queen of Clubs, Tag Gun. Yes. All right. So now we have no Jokers, we have no Aces. Uh, we do have a King, which is Dee Dee. Dee Dee, you're the King, Dee Dee. That's right. So, Dee Dee, you see Mr. Haynes kind of going down and looks like he's going to try to take a bite out of out of Vera. Yeah, I ain't going to stand for that shit. I, I like it. Vera is, is like the only real friend I done made on this ship. I, I got to go ru ru rush to her side, Dave. How far away is she? Uh, she's about... Ten feet away. I'd say she's ten feet. Yeah, she's definitely within uh, shot to where you, you're not going to get any kind of negative modifier on it. Yeah, and well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not even thinking about shooting. I'm just going to come. I'm trying to pistol whip him and, and punch this motherfucker. I'm gonna get him off of. Him. Okay. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna run up to engage and basically crawl up to yeah. engage. You'll, you'll still have plenty of movement to get up there. Uh, all right. Okay. So let's uh, let's see uh, let's see your first punch, your first uh, melee punch. Well, I would probably kind of stand up. I don't know. The firefight sure. is not. They're not returning it from the other side. That stopped. No, the, the gun. Yeah, the gunfire stopped. Yeah, it, it's definitely stopped. Okay, yeah, I the gunfire went on for about 15 seconds. Yeah, and then that's right. when everybody kind of uh, turned around and and you know, voila. I get up and start wailing on this motherfucker. Yeah. All right, and there's a uh, there's a picture of the sorry about that of the engine room. That's how I was trying to describe the halls there, Cletus. You said it's a negative two to all rolls in this darkness. Uh, negative two, uh, but you're within Three ten feet, be. so yeah, I'm not going to give you any negatives, no. Not within ten right, feet, right. no. Yeah, I'm up on this, uh, up right. on this cowboy. So give me give me a uh, a punch. Uh, you hit him, and you got a raise. Well, you aced it. Well, you didn't, you didn't ace it. So what what is your uh, you ace your wild die? So yeah, you did. Yeah, so I aced my wild you're going to get a crit. So go ahead and give me a, a, an extra D6 with your damage. So you did get an ace on your attack. Very nice. You would have hit with both anyway. So, get, off my, wow. get off my friend. So yeah, you hit, uh, you hit Mr. Haynes. You knock his cowboy hat off. And it looks like you've gotten his attention. Uh, as you hit him, you've shaken him, and you've also given him an extra wound. So very We're nice. Trying to take him very out. nice. We're trying to take him out with my crossover then, Dave. Okay, you gonna give him the old uppercut, the Chris, the Chris Rocco uppercut, or the, the Dave Chappelle <laughs> uppercut? On remember on the Godzilla, the stuffed Godzilla when he gave the uppercut yeah. and froze it. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Remember. Are you gonna give him that? Yeah. <laughs> there it is, right here. That's six. I don't know if that does it or not. Uh, I think that a uh, yeah, it, it's definitely a hit. So let's go ahead and roll damage and let's see what you did. Hopefully not a, you it's get not a, a raise, though. Okay. It's not a raise, no. You didn't ace it. You didn't. Only what? if you get a max roll. Uh, so you, you just. Know that's going to get by you. It, yeah, it, it hit, his toughness is a five. You hit him for five, so basically he had a shake. He was already shaken, so he's he's now got two wounds on him. So, oh, you know, smart. yeah, you, you've basically taken a big chunk out of his head and his scalp's kind of hanging time down for, and stuff. Time for the closer to come in on uh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, Cletus, <laughs> well, actually, it would be, a, it would be a, oh, my God. Guess whose turn it is. It's Mr. Haynes' turn to attack. So I hope, I, I've drawn his aggro, though, right? Uh well, yeah, as he kind of looks away from you and, and then he realizes that, that he has Vera in his clutches. So what we're going to do, uh, seeing that you're grappled, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you do a strength versus strength roll to break free, basically, all right? Because he's, he's grappling oh you, so let's do a strength versus strength check. Yeah, I have a minus two, so that'll be fun. You have a minus two? Well, I only have a... Uh, I have a 
a d6 strength, so I'm gonna you go have ahead. Have d6 also. <laughs> so roll poorly, Dave. Uh, I, I, yes, I will. Right, roll. I'm, I'm rolling it now. All right. I'm about to my minus two in. Come on, Vera. Get away from me. Oh shit! Home. I got a. Oh yeah. I got an ace, and then I got a two, so I have an eight. So uh, I do still have you in my clutches. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to bite you. So he does try to uh, go in. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt to, to break free, uh, but uh, he is going to go ahead and get in there and bite you. All right, so my... All right, I have a five versus parry. What is your parry? Four. Okay, so I hit you. Uh, he does get a bite wound on you. Uh, would you like to soak the shaken, or would you like to just wait till your till it's your turn? No, I want to soak. Okay, go ahead and soak it. He got damage. Did he roll damage? Uh, yeah, I got. I actually have to roll damage. So, so I do hit you. Let me see if I do any damage. I'm sorry about that. So it's a strength plus a d4 for damage. Oh my god. Jesus, I don't even want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> eight toughness. What's your toughness? Four. All right. Four everything. So, all right. So I hit you. You're shaken, and I'm a beat I also farmer. I give you an extra wound. <laughs> so I, I hit a raise on you. I had a I aced my roll. I aced my damage roll. So uh, I had to roll it again. All right. So I have, I have a wound. Eight. Yes, you have a wound and you're shaken. So what would you yeah, like to do? Would you like to burn some bennies some or what? Shit. Wait a minute, yeah, does, she have, does she have two wounds like Puck did? No, she's, yeah, she, he only got one okay. raise. Puck had two raises on him. Mm. So, Vera, you're, you are now yeah. bitten. So go ahead and uh, use your, your Benny to uh, go ahead and give me a, a, a vigor check to see if you can get rid of that wound. Yeah, I have to do it at minus two because I'm restrained. Okay. You only got to hit a DC That's four. Phobia. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. So you rolled a one, plus minus one because your wound, minus two because of the hindrance. So you're minus two. Oh my god. Yep. All right. So your your Benny's gone, and uh, you still have the wound on you, and you're shaken. All right. So Vera, you're wounded. You're uh, shaking. Uh, let's see. Next is Cletus. You're up. You just saw this. Uh, actually, it's uh. You know what? I went out of turn. It's uh Kirk Kirkman had a king. So Kirkman, <laughs> Kirkman could actually really shoot this thing, and we could eliminate everything off of Vay because I, I actually did go out of turn. Shoot it and so. it never happened. Come yeah. On, Kirk. Uh, let's see. What? Hold on just one second about the, uh, that, uh, Benny that I spent was for soaking the damage, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. So I, I may owe you a Benny in just a second. Just give me a second. I need to, uh, I need to see if Kirkman actually hit with his 9mm. All right, so I need to roll a d6 twice. Up. Oh, got an ace right off the bat with a 6. I aced it again for a 12, so it don't matter how, how I keep, you know, how high I keep going. Uh, I had a 16 versus parry. That was like a hit big time, so I get to do an extra D6 damage. So the 9mm does 2D6 damage. So I did 4 plus 5 is 9, plus the, the, the uh, crit, well, the ace. Wow. I did 15 damage to that, so I actually got two raises on that, so it'd be five, a raise at nine, mm -hmm. and then a raise at thirteen, so if A, that never happened to you, uh, Kirkman just saved your life. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. So yeah, Kirk Kirkman basically just uh, just saved your life, so you got your Benny back, I'm sorry about that for going out around. Uh, so Mr. Haynes is dead, his head explodes off of his shoulders. Uh, and the two zombies are still about 25 feet away from you guys. And Cletus, you're up now. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. I I, uh, I need to come up with something better for your me mouth to, closed. to see this. <laughs> yeah, I, I am kicking him and screaming, pushing him off of me at the moment. 
Yeah, that, that never happens. Sorry about that, Vey. You don't have a wound. You're not a... Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so Cletus, what are you doing, sir? You're on the front, but you, you know you do know that cool. there are a couple more uh, undead, and it looks like uh, two, you know it looks like two crew members of the ship, servers. One of them's carrying a plate with like a head on it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming they're approaching us from the rear, from what you described mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, whichever one is closest to Vera, because I'm I, she's in the the caboose there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a shot. Okay, it'll be at minus at, two, but that's it, fine. Yeah, because I know you want to keep your position up front, probably, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot and I'm gonna take a shot for the head at this jabroni. Okay, go for it. Yeah, we're getting. Sorry about okay, that, I can't guys. Get it to take my minus two into account. Sure, you should be able to. Just put it in the right beside the the die type. There's a there's a blank box. One D twelve plus whatever. Just put the minus two in there. It'll let me put a minus one, but it won't let me put a minus two. You have to do it again. It it's like it defaults to a minus one. You have to do it again. Did that to me too. Oh, I got you. I figured it out. Okay. There you go. All right, so you still hit him. Uh, you, you also, your wild die, I guess you rolled a one for your wild die, huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, you Jeez. did. Jeez, yeah. So you hit him. You still hit him. Uh, so go ahead and roll your damage. You won't do any kind of you know crit damage or nothing, but uh, you still hit him. But your damage can still ace after ace after ace, so... Show us what you learned over there in the F game. Oh my gosh. Oh my. So you're uh two D six. Uh you uh you got you got raises on one of them, so you did a total of fifteen fifteen damage. So uh basically the toughness is five, uh the first raise would be a nine, second would be a thirteen, so you sh you gave it a shaken condition and two wounds. Uh, with your with your twelve damage, and it staggers it. I mean, you basically blow half of its blow half of its head off. You know, a bunch of skin hanging down and stuff, but it, it's still coming towards you. Nice shot, though. Nice job, Pathfinder. All right, so next up is going to be uh, uh, it would be Puck Nine of Spades, and then Betty will go next with Nine of Hearts. I'm going. <coughs> A little, a little closer towards Fira. You gonna crawl one hand, one arm bandit style? You're in a lot of pain, uh, by the way, Puck. You're you're in a lot yeah, of pain, I'm bud. On, I'm on my knees. Uh, I'm going to, on my knees and then start shuffling. Give me a real quick. Give me a notice check, Puck. Before we do anything, give me a notice check. Well, no need, no need to even give me a notice check because, yeah, there's, there's just really no need to because Dee Dee spilled this, all of these pills all over the ground, Puck, and, and you sure. know, you're thinking, oh man, I, I could possibly use a couple of those because I'm in a lot of pain here. <laughs> so, so Puck, uh, go ahead. What would you like to do? Would you like to shoot uh, uh, at the zombie that that Cletus just shot at? Half of its head is missing. Yeah. Right? Okay, so give me a roll with minus two modifier. Your left elbow is itching. Severely. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you phantom, fa it. phantom itch. You know, how to, you know how to put the, uh, the minus two modifier in there, right, Puck? Under shooting? Uh, you don't have, yeah, you have shooting at a, at a D4, so. Yeah. yeah you, you need to, all right, here, let me get that for you real quick. I got your minus two modifier in there. So go ahead and just hit your, your shooting macro real quick for me. Alright, you're, wow, even minus two, uh, you still got, uh, wow, two raises, two aces on the, well, you got one ace, uh, for a total of 11 minus two for nine, definitely a hit. So go ahead and roll your damage, and when you roll your damage, make sure you check the the box that says raise. Yeah, the raise. Okay. 
Check that box. Hit hit the uh, the macro. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> so he did. Oh shit. Two d six. Wow. With the rays, he uh, aced the ray. Oh my god. So you did a total of seventeen damage, which basically it makes the head explode right off of the shoulders off of that. I mean, he only had one wound left, but uh, nice shot there, Puck. Good job, Puck. That's how you do it. <laughs> All right, so good, good job. Uh, let's see. Next up is uh, Betty. There's still a, a zombie shambling towards you guys. It's All actually right, within, see. not within your range, but you can get up. I mean, you'd be able to move. I mean, all of you guys are able to move too. But if you want to stay there, it's going to be at a minus two because it's uh, sort of in the outskirts of the darkness. But you can definitely still see it. It's just going to be minus two on the shot. I'm going to scramble a little bit forward. Ten pushing feet. Pushing Mr. Haynes. Okay. With me. <laughs> and use him As a body to shield. <laughs> steady my arm. Okay. I got you. So you're kind of pushing him. and <laughs> Okay. I got, I got you. So you will say that you're basically using all of your movement to move up within range. Uh, so do you want to move within. Into a, a sniper blind. Yeah. It seems like it. Do you want <laughs> right. to. Do you want to get in within range to where you're not going to get a penalty for the darkness? or Because if you're within 10 feet, if you want to use all your movement, you can basically get within 10 feet of them. If you yeah, just want to kind of... All right, so go ahead and do your do your, uh, your Glock 17. All right, so that, that's uh, well, your Glock with a plus zero? Yeah. Uh, yep, zero. Yep. Don't forget to take your ammunition off. Holy shit. Nice, uh, nice attack. Uh, that's a raise. You shit. ace your roll. Uh, so you'll, you'll get a, a plus six to your damage. So go ahead and check the raise box for your Glock 9mm damage. And let's see your damage now. All right. So you've done a total of 12 damage, which toughness is five. You get a raise, taking it to 10. So you give it a shaking condition and one wound. There you go. Nice shot. All right, last but not least, Vera, you're up. All right, what is around me? Vera. Yeah, you saw basically Betty just kind of scooched past you with Mr. Haynes as she was grunting, pushing Mr. Haynes, uh, using him <laughs> as a, a weapon stabilizer. <laughs> <laughs> So you can you can attack you can you can mo use your movement and kind of get up beside Betty if you want to and not get any kind of damage bonus well any kind of attack bonus because you'll be within ten feet but then if you don't kill him it's initiative time again you know what I mean and the first target that's closest to to that zombie is is Betty so it's up to okay, you okay so <laughs> Betty is threatened at the moment. Betty could be threatened, yeah, because that zombie is, is still shambling towards her. Ah. And this is a this is a female zombie. This is like a uh, this is probably a, a zombie that's probably about the age of her son, as her son is oh just God. kind of cowering up against the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is going on, dude. All right. I I was going to uh, bathe and sanitize her fluid, but. Now that I see Betty is threatened, I'm going to just okay. drop the gun. I'm going grabbing my knife okay. because I don't think I can shoot the shoot the thing. So I do come up uh, next to Betty and okay. try to stab at the. Oh. Okay, you won't be able to zombie. do that because it was like 20 feet of 20 feet away from you. But if you want to yeah. do a full on charge to it and jump over Betty, and I'll let you do that. So if you want to full-on engage wait, wait. it, it's like I was saying, this is, this is what I hate about Theater of Mind. This is what I hate about Theater of Mind. Right. All right. You were 20, the, the zombies, like away. I exactly, you're 20 foot away. All right. Betty moved within 10 feet of the creature to ignore the, the you know, the minus two for attack. So she's 10 feet away. Betty's 10 feet away from you. All right. So if you want to move up to her and take a shot, you can do that with no penalty with your gun. If you want to, you said you wanted to use your knife, you're going to be beside her, but you can't attack it because it's still 10 oh, feet away. Oh, I see, away. I see. It's too far for me to get with my knife, so... Yeah, yeah. you can I shoot it with a gun. Yeah. toss the gun. Okay. Yeah, you, I, can, you I, can shoot I it. I told Betty Duck, <laughs> and I'm going to shoot. 
Okay. That's what I hate yeah. about theater online. Or can I move to a position where I'm not shooting over Betty? Sure. Absolutely. You can get over towards uh, okay. one of the pieces of equipment on the right or to the left, whatever side you choose, and fire away. All right. Uh, I don't want accidental hit her. Yeah, just don't roll a because double I, one. I know I'm probably not going to hit the uh, thing. All right. So can I move close enough that I want to off? I mean, I can barely sure. see it, right? Yeah, so you can move up about move 10 close feet. close enough that I can get a good aim? Yep, sure can. You can get up to where Betty is, yeah. where she's propped up on the body there. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll just yeah, because I'm laying down using Mr. Hands yeah. and, like a shield. All right, shooting, minus two. You don't do a minus two. Close. You don't do a minus two. You're within uh, ten feet. I don't have the shooting she don't, ability. She don't have the skill. Oh my gosh! It's, oh my gosh! That's right. All right, go for it. Yeah, minus two. Thank God you're not minus what? four, huh? Bom bom ba bom. <laughs> no, it's not a it's not a double crit fail, but yeah, uh, you missed. So let's yeah, go ahead. Yeah, two is not ones. Yeah, let's do uh let's do another initiative round, shall we? Betty, uh, seven of clubs. Subtract my ammo. Yeah, everybody subtract your ammo, please. Cletus, five of hearts. Dee Dee, three of spades. Puck, seven of hearts. Vita, four of diamonds. Kirkman, five of diamonds. Zombie, Joker. Zombie, Joker. No, I'm just kidding. The zombie is uh, five of spades. So you guys have a couple uh, opportunities to kill this thing as it's shambling its way towards... Uh, Vera and Betty. So let's go ahead and go with a seven of hearts first, which is Puck. Okay. Seven of hearts. Puck, are you going to fire? Fire away, sir. Uh, at this moment, uh, I was, uh, that Vera was originally was, so. I'm going a little bit forward first. So are you going to flank the other side of the opposite side of what Ve is on to get within the minus ten feet without the yeah. the pwn? Okay, you, and you're gonna you're gonna lift your one arm up there and fire away. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Fire away. You're within ten feet. You used your movement. All right. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, so you, you aced your roll. So go ahead and do. Uh, you hit the two parry. So go ahead and roll your damage and put a raise on your damage, please. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Horrible. So you rolled double ones for damage, and then your your bonus d6 was a two. Oh my gosh, four. So you basically just. Shook the zombie, so the, but the zombie was already shaken, so you basically gave it another wound. All right, so now the zombie has two wounds, and, and it is still uh, walking towards Puck, Vera, and Betty. All right, so Puck, nice job. Uh, next up is uh, Betty with your seven of clubs. What would you I like to do? Come on, Betty, finish to it. Do exactly what I did before. Same thing, okay. Go ahead and take a shot. Uh, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Just normal damage. No uh, no rays involved. Wow. So you did 11 damage, which is basically uh, equivalent of two wounds, which you only had... She had one wound left. Uh, basically, the zombie goes down. The head explodes off of the shoulders. All right, so you guys are out of combat for that. Those three zombies, nice job. Betty gets her, what, third kill tonight, I think? Yeah. Nice That's job. Right. Very nice job. It, she is uh, the closer. She's the closer. That's right. right. She's the, she the closer. Wow. All right. So, yeah. Last I, call. We closing. I don't think combat's that, that slow. I mean, hell, we've had no. three combats already. Shit. Oh, it'll be a faster one once we know more about the Tulsa. Yeah. yeah, once plus there's other actions you can do, you know, like aiming and shit like that too. So once we start Very using nice. that stuff, we can, you know, I think aiming takes a full round though to get a plus two the next round, some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I don't know if Pick I'd want to do that though. The next one to shoot. Especially seeing that it's so easy to hit something. Anyway, I don't know if I'd want to do that. 
Well, speak for 